total membership for the year? Oh, right. Um, we have um, so we've been collecting dues for 2021 now, and we have uh, 16 members so far now. 16 so paid members, right? 16 paid members, and I do encourage people. We have a lot of, we don't charge to come into the meetings. Um, we do appreciate if you are a regular, if you, if you come, if you come to a lot of meetings, we do appreciate that you do pay the $10. The benefit of it is what we're going to do in a little bit where you could vote in case we have any contested elections like we do now for vice president. So I know a lot of people show up and they may want to vote, but sorry if we don't have you as a dues paying member that we've been verifying earlier today, you can't vote. So. Um, you have to be attending three meetings and attending throughout the three year. Meetings so this way well. it's not like, yes. I here's the money, mm -hmm. I'll come just for election day to get your candidate. You know, we don't want to. We, we have a little uh, checks and balances within our organization to make sure uh, outside entities just don't take over, you know? For all we know, it's Antiva coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's what we have oh, yeah, yeah. felt safe measures in regards to that. That's all you have. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to our chairman of the board, ladies and gentlemen, Alan Alan Bemben, who is walking with a foot cast. Oh, so, uh, yeah, soft cast. Soft cast. He's getting soft wet. cast. Okay, folks, let's get the um, let's get the show on the road. Alan, before we do, I'm going to also make sure that you all have your speech. Yes. I was going to do that. <laughs> I haven't forgotten. Oh, I mean, maybe he had a Joe Biden moment. Of it. I am having my senior moments way too um, frequently, but that's another story. Uh, no offense to senior citizens. Wait till you're 73. Yeah. <laughs> that's my IQ at the moment. Okay, Joe. All right. So as far as it's concerned, listen, folk, um, election, it's for the president at the moment. The presidential election is over for the moment, and what we have is the lawyers, and the lawyers will be wrangling that. So we need to move our focus for the moment off of Trump, and this is what we need to start looking at. We have a big election coming up next year, and this is me before I let um, everyone else move on. Well, we'll give Marty a chance to talk. Uh, sorry, Bill, a chance to talk. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Bill. Is that his, is that your wife? Sorry, buddy. Is that your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have coming up next year our chance to finally get rid of Ms. Hedy Aldina's favorite friend, Bill de Blasio. Uh, <laughs> yay! As we are all aware, Ms. Um, Aldina has been hard at work trying to find out who's been leaving the F. de Blasio signs up around the neighborhoods of New York. And those signs stating, if you are homeless, please go see Gracie Mansion for a hot meal. We hope that Ms. Aldina's efforts well, very will nice. finally Finally, be <laughs> successful. She will find who is doing this and put an end to it. God bless you, Hetty, for I really trying it. to find this out. Yes, God bless you and the um, fur babies, as you like to call your children at home. But yes, That's we have cats. coming up cats, dogs. Forever. She Turtles. does have a turtle, yes. Birds. God bless her. She's an animal person like me. Except for the um, two-legged variety that's roaming around yeah. Gracie Mansion and the yeah. few other and City Hall, um, we have coming up next year our chance to get rid of De Blasio. He's term limited out. We need to make sure that there is not a success, and we need to make sure that we finally do something that happens back during the Giuliani years. We need to wake up New York City and say, "Look, guys, here it is. You've had your streets." There's been riots, there's been looting, there has been thieving. You can't even go into the city nowadays and do shopping because half the stores are hoarded up. I mean, part of this is retail apocalypse, part of this is corona, but let's be frank. Who's going to open up a store if you have to worry about somebody who's unhappy, literally throwing a garbage can through the window because supposedly that's how they're going to um, protest social injustices by putting a garbage can through Walgreens or... Um, I don't know, coaches, um, handbag stores window. 
we need to start moving ourselves into the next line. And this is actually where the Tea Party in Brooklyn comes in. This is going to be localized for us. This is where we'll have our best efforts, our best access to moving the needle over. So next year, folks, have a shot of whiskey when you get home. <laughs> Say a prayer unto the battle for New York City next year, okay? And that includes city council. We need to take as many seats as we can. It's not impossible. Open Brighton Beach, um, Coney Island area, a Republican was voted in as um, assemblyman. The unseated person that they didn't even expect was going to have trouble. It was a stealth it, campaign. <laughs> it can be done, folks. Well, let me uh, bring up one thing quickly. Um, I hope to uh, be helping in that particular campaign and the other campaigns that I mentioned that we won, because I'm going to most likely be going to the sorting facility in Sunset Park for the Board of Elections, and I'm going to be one of those observers, and I'm going to be one of those people that say, ah, no signature on the ballot. This is going for our lawyers for challenge, so I'm going to be doing that. I was asked by the Republican Party to uh, if I could participate for a couple hours, and they're going to train me. So you know they're going to ask the trusted people that they know because they want to, they don't know who else the other people are. So they you know, a certain amount of people that they're going to trust to do that, and I hope to uh, knock out a couple illegal votes. If it's legal, it's legal. If it's not, I'm going to see it. They're going to train me. They're going to tell me which one I should look for. What, what markings are wrong or whatever. That's a mayor? That's for this particular race for the assembly, Vito Bruna, ah, for, for Nicole, all these races. So I hope to have an influence, because uh, these paper ballots could swing elections, you know what I'm saying? So we want to make sure they're valid and legal. If they're not, then they just go to the judges to decide at that point. We say no, challenge to this ballot, the paper ballot, it goes in the pile, that's for the lawyers to sort out. So that will be my job, hopefully, this Thursday or so. And for those wondering what could be the challenges, it could be where it says on the back of an affidavit ballot envelope, it says, please sign here, and were you 18 years of age or above at the date of the election, check please put your date of birth and check mark, and people generally will put down the day they sign it. So November 8th, somebody signs it November 8th, I know, past the election, but they sign it November 8th, 2020, guess what? That's not an 18 and above birthday. They're supposed to reject it. Right. Of course, somebody can turn around and they can change the rules the, say and say, intent. well, intent, our favorite words. Um, yes, sir, she is. All right. I just want to know, when is that class that you're going to take, and are they looking for other people to do it? Because I'm already a poll worker now. Oh, well, you are a poll worker. I am. Okay. And I just did the election. I did the last election. I'm signed up for the special election, um, but I would really like to do that. Okay, so you're uh, David Horton? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I will, um, when I get a text message yeah. from our chairman, uh -huh. and he's going to mention about, the, I'm going to mention, well, I'll mention, I'll, I'll text him later on. I'll say, I'll text him now. I'll say, are you looking for any other people to be observers? Well, and, and then can you also ask him, um, I would like to challenge this election myself mm -hmm. as a poll worker um, in my district and last year and also, I mean, in 2016 and also in this year, we do not have any Republicans that are challenging. It is all Democrats. Mm, yeah. And this is a problem. By law, we are supposed to have a Democrat and a Republican. And both times, I was the only Republican in the entire place. Yeah. This and what they do, is, I know, and what they do is they make the other Democrat become the Republican. Claim to be. Yeah. Our, our coordinator yeah. said, pretend that you're a Republican right. and try to be unbiased. Well, unfortunately, it's impossible. there's not enough Republicans that want to do this. That's there are. The My husband signed up and they didn't call. Oh, they didn't? Okay. So well, that's that, different that means that that that's ridiculous. Don't, um, I wish you told me this before, David. Yeah. You're in the, what assembly district are you in? Uh, I live in Park Slope. I'm not sure. I, to are, you, did I ever, are you in the 44th? Is Robert Carroll your assembly? I'm in the 44th. I don't know. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm your district leader. You told me that you wanted to be. Well, I worked 44, well, I on this, but I didn't, I didn't 61, really volunteer. I put my oh, that's my, well, 44. That's the one I worked. Well, that's my assembly district. 
That's the one I worked So, David, I did, I did sign some papers for you. No, that was the petition to get the person on the ballot. Okay. You should have told me you needed to be a poll worker. I would have just made a phone call. Yeah. And then you would have been a poll worker. Yeah. Very well, easily. Right, up next for time. It. Put, yeah. Next time. Yeah, you right. let me know <laughs> that you want to do it. You'll be on. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Point is, no, I wasn't looking for it. All right. I'm just saying you would be. You will I be on. Okay. Let really me know. That will be solved very easily. Mm. At least that one. Oh, um, no, you can continue on. I'm going to look for so it. Folks, folks, continuing on with what yeah. we have, okay? We have the election coming up today. I'm going to give our current vice president, Bill Lloyd, a chance to speak. Bill, you want to speak? The podium is yours, after which I'll return to the vote. Hi, I'm Bill Lloyd, as you all know, um, for the past 11 months. It's been uh, my honor and privilege to serve. Say it louder, Bill. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Bill Lloyd. I'm the Vice President. For the past 11 months, it's been my honor and privilege to serve as your Vice President. Uh, I know that at least five meetings were canceled because of COVID, and that was unfortunate. And m even more unfortunate is the current uh, situation with the presidential election, which I hope uh, becomes resolved, you know, in our favor. Anyway, I am running for re-election. Hold on, oh, don't do the re-election speech. Is that we're going to do that in a minute, okay? You and I'm Menachem will have a chance to oh, speak. Oh, this is part of a report? This is just whatever you want. If you oh, this, have is just, say. this is your time. This is the this same is thing time. before your election. No election. So Alan, you should have been more clear. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're going to throw. We're going to impeach Alan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Kidding. Not really. But not really. Uh, anyway, um, I'm here. I, I love the Tea Party. Um, sometimes I think the Tea Party isn't strong enough. Um, Sixty years ago, when. Um, uh, Oh, I forget his name. The guy who ran for president in 1960, Barry Goldwater. 60 years ago when Barry Goldwater uh, ran uh, for president of the United States, the conservative party had a militant arm called the John Birch Society. And they were very militant and very dynamic. And at, at a certain point, they just went away. And now we have the Tea Party, which is fine. But sometimes I think, you know, we need to be dynamic and strong and go forward and mean business and let our adversaries know that we mean business. Mm -hmm. So that is my statement. Uh, I won't make any reference to re-election. Uh, I'll just say I'm here. I'm glad I was here. I'm glad I served. I'm sorry so many, so many meetings had to be canceled. But I'm very glad to be a member and the current vice president. Thank you. Thank you. All right, hold on. We've got podium. Hold on, we've got one more, Larry. Uh, uh, not political, not well, you're for election. Spoke. You're you're already spoke? Well, yeah, yeah. I do have to, well, I just want, want to get anything off day. your chest? Yeah, just a couple more Hold things. Down. Come on down. No, no, Come just on kind of, down, Larry. Just quickly, um, you know, we've been recording lately. Um, people ask about minutes and stuff, but, you know, we do have uh, recordings that are uploaded. They've been emailed out on, on YouTube, so you can see four recordings of the meetings and just um, going back a little bit to the mayoral talk uh, last month we did have an official mayoral candidate uh, Bill Pepitone um, we don't know exactly who else is running there's uh, reports about John Katsimatidis um, a whole bunch of other people but if anybody's curious about one officially official Republican candidate for mayor um, you could check out the recordings he sent, Bill Pepitone, and it's on our so YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube Go to YouTube, channel and Brooklyn Tea Party. Out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, so that's you know, so that's an idea of one candidate, and we'll see who else pops up, and hopefully, we yeah. could try to get him. I mean, Which one? Uh, whoever it is, Captain oh yeah, Peterson, we're open whoever, to everyone you know, to speak so. their mind, and for yes. us to make our decision. Uh, we don't come in with any pre preconceived. Uh, uh, notions of who we want. Uh, we, we want to hear from everyone. Scott so, all of a sudden made an announcement on who? his page. Scott, Scott Lovato uh -huh. made an announcement that he wanted to run hey, as well. Hey, the more the uh -huh. merrier. So we'll see. Uh, 
we could love that. We'd love to have him as a future guest speaker. Right. So also, like, if so anybody we, we could be in contact with exactly, him. if anybody has any contacts with potential candidates, just let anybody in the board know, and we'll see if we can make it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Okay. Back over. So. Usually when we have the elections, the last few times, we basically, nobody else has wanted to run for a position, and it has just been yay or nay, you know, for the current position holders to continue on. Today we have a rare treat. We have an election for vice president. We have two fine gentlemen, two good conservative gentlemen Tea Party members who would both bring honor, or continue to bring honor, to the position of vice presidency and would both be fantastic in the position. Of course, Bill Lloyd over here, the current vice president, Menachem Lieberman in the back over there. You had to sit all the way in the back, didn't you, Menachem? <laughs> That is it diametrically opposed. <laughs> Anyways, in a few moments, we are going to allow both gentlemen, we'll give each gentleman three minutes, I think that's a fair amount of yeah, time. Three minutes. Three minutes is fine. To speak. They will each have one chance to speak, give their reason for why you, the member, should vote for them. And then each one will take a limited number of questions. Okay, yes, Glenn, it was going to be a Q&A. There will not be a swimsuit competition, yeah. unlike you requested. Sign up, you know, this year does sign. <laughs> yes. Both people, both, why can't they, they, there's a lot of work to be done, like you want to be more, more uh, militant, which we should be, and more, you know, forceful. And why can't they be both vice president, because they all, be each one counter, you have to change really the Constitution. You have to change the Constitution. And at this current moment, we're not changing the Constitution. What's constitution? Because it, we have a two-party constitution. Party. constitution. We have a Constitution. We have a Constitution. But can you, you, have, can you like, if you win or he win, assign a deputy to, you know, to... That's not how, no, that works. Not how it works. I mean, eventually we could ask if the leadership, if the club membership wants something like that, that's something that would have to go through a process. Both people are very important. It would have to go through a process first. And, and here's the other thing. Right unlike, now, it, we're not at that moment to do that. Unlike some of the larger clubs that exist, if you've ever been out over to Jamaica, Queens, with their Democratic club, um, they have a huge number of memberships. They have a club of like 200-something people. So over there, they have, a, they have two vice presidents. They have multiple positions. God willing, if we reach 200 plus people, I'm willing to have as many vice presidents as you both feel, as long as we're still able to have basically an odd number of votes, so that should there be a situation, we go up to vote. In the board, we're able to come up to where it's just not an even deadlock. As far as it's concerned, I am one of those people. I don't believe in having more chiefs than Indians. I know how politically incorrect that phrase is nowadays. I don't care. We don't care. Here, um, but the answer is this: either gentleman is not walking away without a position; it just happens to be board positions are decided in January. Board positions are done through the four elected officers and the chairman of the board. Okay, that would be myself. So those five individuals come January. Once the election is certified in January. Don't worry, there won't be, um, what was it, ballots found after the fact. There's 30 <laughs> printed ballots, folks. There's 15 people over here, not that everyone is necessarily a paid dues member eligible to vote, but I'm just letting you know the box is empty. I'll let everyone take a look inside. We will not find an extra 200 votes for, um, what was it, for um, Marshall Wallace or whomever it is hiding in the box. I'll let everyone take a look. Um, very simple, you don't have to worry about Sharpies or um, the color of your pen that you use. It's very simple, you have two names, no mail-ins, no Dropbox locations well, right other there. than this. Right there's the Dropbox. And come up and you come up, your... you drop it in. If there's a question over the number of votes, we'll sit around. We will have the votes tabulated right in front 
This is in uh, Michigan. This is in Arizona, Nevada. God knows who and we else. We conducted a good election here in this backyard for the Brooklyn Young Republican yeah. Club about two years ago or so, or a year ago. I don't even remember what year I'm in anymore. Uh, Larry was my uh, uh, election commissioner uh, for the club because Larry used to be the uh, former secretary back. In